right, so here we are, another hotel, another couple days, and we're just uh, taking care of a lot of family business right now. Whitney also has some nursing business to take care of, so we're out here just doing all that and trying to have some fun in the meantime, so doing some adventuring, driving, drinking, lots of coffee, and trying to keep the kiddo happy, so. You guys that have kids know what I'm talking about. You guys that don't have any kids yet will someday understand life with child. <laughs> the hotel we're staying at is called Chase on the Water. And this is on Leech Lake. They have a marina, some boat docks, lots of water toys to play with. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out once we get settled. Hopefully we get those lines wet as well. Put a chew in the water. Dad, oh, yeah. go no, in. No, don't knock the shit in the water. Dad, I'll bite a, a, a chewy. Chewy? Dad, I'll bite a chewy. Chewy? I bet you my shoe floats, too. Go back to in the tea. Mm -hmm. No, 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 Keep reeling. I wonder if there's a little nest right there or something. Yeah, there's probably another little nest there. So when you get in that area, let it maybe slower and lower or something. <laughs> All right, another big one. Windy wind with a giant largemouth bass, new body of water. Again, the war blade, kicking it into gear. <laughs> nah. What? Did you just... <laughs> okay, here we go. There it is. Four blade. Big bass. This is another three and a half Off pounder. the dock. <laughs> Off the dock. You want to touch it, partner? Mm -hmm. Should we let him go now? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put him back in. Right, he got one. They're biting. The boy got one too. Look at that. Whitney already scored a really nice bass from one of the docks that you could fish off here. So far, Minnesota has been producing so many amazing catches just on foot. We're fishing a few different style war baits. The war blade has been the ticket. If the three eighth ounce war blade from shore is the one to get, there's a lot of weeds and grass in the area and the three eighth ounce war blade really gets through that stuff easily. Also fishing the underspin and the spinner baits, that's gonna be a great bait for out here as well. And I have her on a shields rod that we bought in one of the towns. This is a seven foot medium cork handle paired up with the Corrado DC. And it's been absolutely killing it for her. I can't believe how many big fish she's caught in just a short amount of time from shore. So good looking setup. So far this little war blade has been absolutely killing it. Three eighth ounce in a golden shiner bait fish pattern that we have. Gold blade, man, it has been whacking the big bass for Whitney. Picking up a little pizza here, Walker Bay. Minnesota. That's where I'm at right now. A really amazing thing about Minnesota. Very fishing outdoors friendly. You can pretty much fish anywhere you want. It's encouraged. People like that you fish. <laughs> they have fish on the menus. So that's a little different scene from California where you get yelled at for stepping on the dock. <laughs> but it's beautiful out here. Thankful to be here.
Got one, guys. Got one right here off this dock. Oh, oh, he's, he's tied up. Oh, here we go. Nice. Look at this, guys. On the spinner bait. But look at those. Oh, he's all kind of beat up right there. Look at his coloration. Different. There he goes. Yeah, got one. I've been trying to find a proper setup here and as you can see, the skies are kind of dark. The water's super clear. So I threw on this little three and a half inch, four inch bait fish. And you can see it right there. It got bit by a pike, I would suggest. He just grabbed the tail, got it right underneath the hook. So we're gonna keep after it. He's probably around here somewhere. Hopefully we can get him to go on this next one. I got a good one. Got a good one here. It's either that or grass. I'm not sure. It's either I got a good fish or I got grass. Nope, I got a good fish. I got a good fish. I got a big one. Here he comes, pike. Finally. Nice size one too. Oh my gosh. Look at this one. Look at this one. Oh, the hook came out. The hook came out. Yeah, boys. Look at that. Look at that. Got one. Sweet. Right here at the boat. Right here, right here on my feet. So sick. Oh, we got another one. Dude. Another one. What a sick one right at the dock. Came off though. Two fish, several bites. I've been throwing all kind of stuff, like a lot of bladed baits. So a lot of things that have moving parts, you know, spinner bait, underspin, war blade. The only thing I hadn't tried was the war baits. Oh, it's followed it to the boat. Followed it in again. The only thing I didn't try was a, a regular war bait swim bait head with a weed guard and a swim bait. Just a really simple presentation. And I have to say, this has been the most action yet. And the most success also fishing it like I would spot a bay bass through the grass. So I'm letting the bait sink to the bottom in the grass and I start reeling through the grass. I can feel the, I can feel the bait come free. I'll let it fall back into the grass and then I continue, I pick it back up. A couple reels through the grass, I let it drop back down. So these pike, they're in that grass. Whatever this type of weed is here, they're in there. They're swimming around, they're living in it. They do want to hunt down the, the bait, chase it down a bit. So it's not like spotted bay bass where they're eating it off the bottom, but they do want to hunt it down. They do want to chase it. So you do have to, you have to give it some retrieve.